Hey Virgo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a tarot love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any of you dealing with a Virgo romantically. It is also a timeless reading today, Virgo. Whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. And it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. You are welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Before we get to it, I also want to remind you that I offer personal tarot readings through my Etsy shop. They are not video readings, they are written readings. If you are interested in those, you can check them out through Etsy. The link is just in the description box below this video. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's see what's coming toward Virgo in love right now. First card out is the Justice card. This is Libra energy. You could be dealing with a Libra romantically. I always say with the Justice card, we're going to have to see what happens next, because I feel like this can sometimes be a challenging energy, and I feel like sometimes it can be a really positive energy. So we're going to have to see what happens, because the first way that we could look at the Justice card is that somebody has done an injustice to you, somebody hurt you. So maybe there's somebody here who's wanting to come in and say sorry for something that they did, and they want to try and make things right, okay? Now, the other way that we could look at the Justice card is that it's a very balanced energy about, um, you know, understanding your person, having a really balanced relationship, being able to communicate well, being able to resolve conflict. And sometimes I feel like the Justice card makes me think of justice of the peace in terms of getting married. So let's see what comes next. What else is coming toward Virgo right now? <laughs> the Knight of Wands. Okay, that's lovely. Fire energy. Okay. So there's obviously somebody here who feels very passionately about you and they're approaching you with a lot of energy and a lot of momentum. They want to move things forward. They're feeling passionate about you and they're excited about the connection. So that feels really good. Okay, let's get one more. What's coming toward Virgo right now? <laughs> and then we got the Hierophant. Okay, it's all good, you guys. Very strong energy of commitment here. All right. So if you're a single Virgo right now, I'm getting goosebumps actually as I'm saying this, I feel there is the energy of somebody around you who's looking to commit to you. If there's somebody new charging, literally charging into your life right now with that Knight of Wands, this is somebody who's looking for long-term commitment. I would really encourage you to be open to this Virgo. I'm, I'm feeling really good vibes of love charging in with somebody who is pursuing you and somebody who wants a future with you, okay? And if you're in a relationship, I mean, it really looks to me like your person's going to be taking some sort of action right now about building a future with you and letting you know that they want to be with you forever and ever and eternity. <laughs> okay, um, so that feels really good. Really beautiful overall energy. So for the rest of the reading here, we're going to look more at you and your person. So we're going to look at them their general energy, what they're feeling, and what actions they're taking. And then we're going to look at the same thing for you, Virgo. And at the end, we'll look at the potential outcome, okay? So tell me about this person who's here for Virgo, please. All right, we have got the hanged man. <laughs> you know what came to mind right away when I pulled this card? Your person is feeling really antsy. Like they're just feeling like they're so ready to take that next step. And maybe they feel like things are a bit stalled right now, or maybe things have not been moving as quickly as they had hoped for. And I feel like there's this sense of them being like, okay, I wanna move things forward. I wanna introduce some energy. I wanna introduce some momentum into the connection. There could also be some sort of situation here involving the two of you where they're seeing things from a different perspective. Um, they could be, I don't know, I feel like they're really trying to understand you, Virgo. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but you could be opening up to them and they're starting to almost see the world differently because they're learning from you and they're growing and they're seeing things from your perspective. I just feel like this sense of awe, like they're in awe of you and they really love talking to you and hearing your perspective on the world and your opinions. And I feel like it helps them grow. <laughs> I don't know you guys, but that's what I'm picking up on. Tell me more about this person who's here for Virgo, please. 10 of swords, okay. This is somebody who's gone through challenge in their life. I will say that you're dealing with somebody who's had probably some pretty bad breakups. 
And I do see that there is emotional pain, but I also feel like your person is getting closure about what that was. They could have had a really bad breakup in the past, some sort of challenging situation, but I see that emotionally, they're really on this healing journey right now to move forward. Now, it could also be, I am gonna say Virgo, I feel a lot of happiness between you and your person if you're already with them, but maybe it hasn't always been smooth sailing because I am looking back to that justice card, which was the first card that I pulled for you today. Maybe even though the two of you, I think you're in a good place right now, and this is specifically for those of you who are already with your person, you might be in a really good place right now, but I can see that you've maybe gone through some challenges together before. And so maybe there is a bit of that energy of healing from the past, healing from issues that the two of you have gone through, every relationship goes through stuff. And so it might not have always been easy, but what it feels like is that you're now at a point where things are feeling really good and easy, but it, it may have been, you know, a bit of a journey to get there, let's say, okay? Let's get one more card for your person's overall energy. King of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We saw the Knight of Wands in the overall energy. We see the King of Wands here. We see Fiona, my little kitty cat, coming to say hello. Again, hi, sweetie. Um, again, there's this energy of passion and purpose and love and charisma really showing up here in terms of how your person is feeling about you. So let's look more at what they're feeling. What is Virgo's person feeling right now? Ace of Cups, that's gorgeous. Look at that, you guys, okay? Very positive indicator that this is new love. If you're a single Virgo, that's what I was picking up on at the start of your reading. But I definitely feel like your person is opening up to you, opening up their heart, feeling that deeper level of connection on that emotional level between the two of you. So if you're already with this person that I think they're doing something right now that is making you understand on an even deeper level how much they love you and how much they care for you. Tell me more about what this person is feeling, please. King of Swords, very clear headed. They know how they feel about you. They're not confused. They're not uncertain. They are decisive. They have their eye on the prize. They know they want you and that's what they're focused on. And I also feel like with the King of Swords and with the Ace of Cups, this is a good indicator that they're going to be clearly communicating their feelings to you and being very open about how they feel. What else is this person feeling? I love it. Look at that. Holy smokes, Virgo. In your person's feelings, we have the Ace of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Okay? That's beautiful. That's beautiful, you guys. Let's just take that in, shall we? Okay? So this person is just feeling so excited about you, so passionate about you, so in love about you, so clear-headed about you. Everything is just really amazing when it comes to their feelings towards you, Virgo. And two aces here. I just want to reiterate, this is a very positive indicator that this is new love for those of you who are single. So be prepared here for somebody coming in who is honestly just head over heels in love with you, Virgo. It's beautiful. What actions are they taking? Oh, okay, uh, two things coming to mind. We got the devil energy. The first thing that's coming to mind is that they're cutting out anything toxic from their life. That makes sense because we saw the 10 of swords earlier in the reading. So like I said, for some of you, your person's gone through some tough stuff, maybe some bad breakups. And I think that they're just letting go of anything, like I said, that's toxic or unhealthy, maybe related to the past, they're letting it go. I'm also feeling the devil as a lot of lust and desire because they're so attracted to you. So you might be feeling this deep attraction that they have for you right now, Virgo. What other actions are they taking? The nine of wands, yeah. They're persevering, they're fighting for your relationship, they're never gonna give up on you. I don't know, maybe for some of you, this is a person coming back from the past. Uh, not for all of you, but I am getting a little bit of that vibe. Like maybe this is somebody where the two of you had a bad breakup, it hurt, but now they're coming back and they're wanting to make amends, they're wanting to say sorry, kind of like what I was picking up on earlier in the reading. Again, this is not for all of you. 
If you're not interested in an ex, this message is not for you, but I am getting a little bit of the vibe of somebody wanting to fight for you. And that could mean that it's maybe a past person coming back into the picture for some of you, not all of you. What other actions are they taking? And the hermit, yeah. They're doing a lot of deep thinking. This is a very thoughtful person. This is Virgo energy, by the way. So some of you could be dealing with a fellow Virgo romantically. It's so funny, by the way, um, I'm a Virgo moon. I have a lot of friends who are Virgos, okay? Like Virgo sons, and they're all dating other Virgos. <laughs> okay, so is that what Virgos do? Like you guys are all just dating each other? Um, it's very cute. Like I have so many friends who are in these beautiful relationships and it's like two Virgos who have come together and it, it seems to work really, really well. Um, anyway, I digress. I just think um, generally though, you're dealing with someone who's very thoughtful in their approach to your relationship. They've been through some stuff. They're working on it. They're letting go of anything toxic and they're really just focusing their attention on you. So let's look at you, Virgo. What's going on for you? Ten of Wands, interesting. It looks like you're also releasing any sort of emotional burdens that you could be experiencing. I want you to think about whatever is weighing on your mind, whatever is maybe holding you back emotionally from being fully present and available with your person. Like I said, for some of you, if you're already with this person, maybe it's about letting go of any emotional baggage in your relationship so that the two of you can move forward. Or this could just be about you getting emotional closure about anything that's happened to you before that is just not really necessary for you to hold on to. Tell me more about Virgo. Six of Cups. Interesting. It could be a past person. All right, you guys. This is kind of what I was intuitively picking up on a few moments ago where I was like, for some of you, uh, this is a past person coming back. The Six of, court, uh, six of uh, Cups. <laughs> I was like, what am I trying to say? Six of Cups is here to indicate a connection to the past. So I do feel definitely the energy for some of you of unfinished business. So there could be somebody coming back, a past person, because the two of you have not forgot about each other. There's still a connection there. And this person could be coming back in to see if the two of you could start things up again. And again, if it's not about a past person, it could be about emotional baggage related to the past, that you need to let go of right now, Virgo, in order to move forward. Tell me more, please. And then the world, yeah. You're wrapping up some sort of stressful cycle, something negative. There's a very, very, very strong energy here for you, Virgo, of getting some sort of closure about a situation. It feels very positive. So whether it's getting closure with your current person, maybe for some of you who are already in a relationship, or if you're single, I feel like all of this energy is saying like you're on the cusp of meeting somebody who wants to be with you and commit to you. So this is a really good time to do that work, to release any of those emotional burdens or any situations that you don't need to be bringing forward with you. What is Virgo feeling? Queen of Swords. <laughs> ah, I'm laughing because your person had the King of Swords in their feelings and you have the Queen of Swords in your feelings. I, th I think this is speaking to uh, the connection between the two of you. I'm getting all excited about this. Um, I just feel like you guys are on the same page. I don't know. It feels like these two cards are connecting the two of you emotionally, and both of you are very clear about your feelings for each other. What else is Virgo feeling? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I use a tarot deck called the Crystal Visions Tarot. It has a bonus card called the Unknown. And I keep it in the deck just because it's always kind of interesting when it comes out in a reading. So there's definitely something going on in your feelings where you're like, okay, um, what am I feeling? What's going on? Maybe you're exploring your feelings deeper about a situation. There could be something unexpected happening right now that impacts how you feel about a situation. I kind of feel like there could be some sort of news or information coming in that makes you feel a certain way. So just be open to surprises that could impact how you feel right now. What else is Virgo feeling? Beautiful, seven of pentacles, yeah. When it comes to the connection between you and this person, you're being very intentional about um, what you want, the future that the two of you are creating together, really planting those seeds of intention and I think that you're really working to make sure that you have a strong emotional foundation. 
and you're really making sure that the two of you are communicating and getting to know each other and being vulnerable so that you have that strong base of emotions and feelings and vulnerability that's really going to provide the base to your relationship because you're going to have that deep emotional intimacy. What actions are you taking? The five of cups, you're letting go of something disappointing. Yeah. So think about what this is, Virgo. It's a general reading. It's going to be different for everybody, but I do see you managing some sort of disappointment about a situation. But what do I always say to you with the five of cups, Virgo, right? Do you want to focus on the cups that are spilled? Or do you want to focus on the cups that are upright? Okay. The five of cups is an opportunity to shift your perspective. If you've experienced some sort of disappointment in love, you can have a pity party and you can focus on everything that didn't work out. Or you could literally like turn around and look at the other two full cups, which represent the opportunity that's here. So I see you just managing some sort of disappointment about something in your love life. And it's about letting that go. What other actions are you taking? The five of wands. Okay. You're also dealing with any sort of inner conflict, any sort of indecision. It's interesting here because it does look like you could be feeling conflicted about some sort of situation in your love life. And it's about being able to take action to deal with those feelings. Somebody could also be arguing with you. I'm feeling a sense of conflict here. So you could be managing some sort of conflict situation. What else? And then the four of pentacles. Okay, Virgo, um, <laughs> this is something related to the past. Again, um, your energy is very strongly coming through as you need to let go of something that's no longer serving you. And I, I just, and if, if that's not your message today, that's okay. But for those of you who are connecting with this, I really feel for you when I look at your energy specifically, there's some sort of emotional burden. It goes back to that 10 of wands, the first card that I pulled for you. It's weighing on your mind. It's related to the past. It's making you feel disappointed. You're having all this internal conflict, but it's like the four of pentacles is telling you, you got to let it go, Virgo. Okay. You've got to find a way. <laughs> Thank you, Fiona. <laughs> she wants to get in my lap. You guys, um, you've got to find a way to let go of anything that's not serving you. Okay. I feel very strongly for you specifically that there is something showing up as a blocking energy right now. And I feel like in order to have all this beautiful love from your person, remember these two juicy aces here? Remember that Virgo? You got to let go of something here that no longer serves you and is no longer needed so that you can enjoy this. Okay. It feels like it's very personal. Again, take it or leave it if it resonates, but for those of you who are connecting, I just feel like there's something holding you back from having the greatest love. And so you got to figure out what's holding you back and let go of it. And then you can be fully open to this. Okay. All right. So moment of truth. What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome here? Okay. Judgment. Beautiful. That's a beautiful card, you guys. Okay. So the judgment card is about your higher purpose and calling. I feel like a lot of times within a love reading, it represents connecting with somebody where we feel there is compatibility in terms of our values and our beliefs and what we want. And so I do feel like with you and this person, like I said, they're serious about you. They want commitment. I do think you've got a very strong foundation here. And it looks like in the outcome, it's about being able to continue to build that connection and continuing to work toward the future that the two of you want. Okay. Feels really, really beautiful. But like I said, for some of you, <laughs> there's a little bit of work that you need to do to release and let go. Same thing for your person, right? This is a theme that's kind of showing up for both you and your person. They have the 10 of swords, you have the 10 of wands. So both of you got to let go of something right now. And by doing that, it's going to create space for a deeper level of intimacy to form between the two of you. But both of you have got to be willing to put in the time and effort to do that personal growth, right? So that you can fully show up for each other within the relationship. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you would like to get a personal written tarot reading from me, you can do so through Etsy. The link is in the description box below this video. And of course, I wish you so much love and so much happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.